What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Cha-Ching King. And if you clicked on this video, it's because you want to build a successful eBay business for yourself in 2024. And this video is going to serve as a roadmap for you to do just that. I've broken down the entire process of creating an eBay business into five phases. In my description in this video, I've created an entire course of previous videos and I'm going to link them to each individual phase. Let's start the road to having your own eBay business right here, right now. Let's get going. Phase one of building your own business is for you to sit down and take a hard look at where you're at. There's a reason that you clicked on the video. You have this vision of eBay providing something for you. Sit down and very quickly write down what exactly do you have to lead you going forward? And it's okay if it's absolutely zero. It's good to acknowledge that. The second part of phase one is for you to take a look at the end of the road and think, where do I want to be? What does this look like? If I'm successful at doing this eBay thing and creating a business, what does that look like for me? In phase one, if you do those two things, it's going to make the rest of this process much easier. Don't blow this part off. Give it some real thought. For me, I had somebody else to consider in this process because I didn't create a business by myself. So Melody and I both talked about where we were. At the time, we were getting very serious about creating an eBay business. We already had eBay. We'd listed and sold a few things over the years. So we were ahead of some, way behind others. And when we looked at where did we want to go, I knew that I was going to be retiring from the superintendency. We knew we would need enough income to bridge the gap between my retirement and what we were already making. And we knew that we needed to have time to help with our parents and do some things that, quite frankly, we had neglected with me being on a superintendent schedule. Whoever is going to be impacted by this decision-making process needs to be included in phase one. Don't forget, as we move forward, that I'm going to break down the phases in my description and I'm going to put each individual video I think will help with some of those processes. Let's move on to phase two. Phase two in this business, I want you to get started. Look, how many of you out there have ever suffered with analysis paralysis? You watch the videos and you, you study and you think on it and you think on it and you think on it and you never actually get started. And I'm going to tell you, just let it go. And I want you to get a few items listed. I want you to try and get a few items sold. And I want you to try and get a few items shipped. I don't want you to worry about in this phase, how much money you're making, because that's not important. When you get started, you're, you're probably going to make a mistake. I know that I did like mistakes happen. My whole adult life, I was in college working on all these degrees and I didn't think anything of writing some massive check to a university to teach me. And yet we bulk if we list something on eBay and it doesn't work out and we lost money on shipping. And I'm telling you to let that go. The cheapest education you're going to get are from making a few mistakes. Phase two, I want you to walk around the house and I want you to find a few items and I want you to get a few things listed. You don't need to spend any money, but what I do want you to do is don't worry about making a mistake. You're probably going to make a mistake and it's a cheap education. Somebody may sneak up on you and take advantage of you. You'll learn more from that than you will watching a hundred videos about scammers. Put down the analysis, get started, muddle through, create a few listings, even if they're bad. Here's how I know so much about phase two and what happens. For years, I thought about creating a YouTube channel and I questioned everything. Well, what if my videos are awful? What if nobody likes it? What if they don't like me? I'm not pretty enough for YouTube. I... I hate my voice. I don't have good lighting. I have no clue how to edit a video. And I did that for years. And to their credit, every single YouTuber that I talked to, every single one of them was like, dude, just start, just make a video. It'll be great. And here's the thing. My first video wasn't great. It was awful. And I've left it up because it's awful. Except that what makes it not awful is that I started started. Without that video, I'm not making this video. And if you don't list a few items, you're not an eBay seller. 
You're just an eBay video consumer. Don't be that. I don't want that for you. I want you to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Phase two, get started. And that's going to take us to phase three. See, in phase three, you've done a little bit of this. Now the videos that you're watching are going to make more sense. And I think this is a really critical part in the life of your business. This is where you start growing. And that doesn't mean that you start buying everything you can and listing everything you can. The biggest mistakes I made in phase three of building my own business was literally trying to get to like, I want to get to a hundred listings. Ooh, I want to get to 400 listings. I want to get to a thousand listings. And I did all of those things. And by the time I hit 1500 listings, I had a bloated store full of things that I bought that weren't really very good. They weren't exciting to list. I didn't enjoy learning about them. They weren't things that Melody or I particularly enjoyed. And very quickly, while we started to make a little bit of money, we just had a job. And it wasn't providing the life that we wanted, even if it provided the income. Phase three is so important. Pay attention in phase two, those few listings that you made. What sold? What did you enjoy learning about? What kind of things did you enjoy looking for and enjoy listing and enjoy selling the whole process? You know, there are some things that I enjoy learning about, but the thought of shipping them just, just curdles my milk. I don't want to do that. And so phase three is for you to hone your business because that will make growing your business so much easier. And so hone it down to what is it that fits you? What is it that you can find and sell that you enjoy the entire process of it? Because if you find that, man, everything else is going to take care of itself. That takes us to phase four. I've heard people say that if you aren't looking at hiring people and getting a building and outsourcing a lot of the, that it's not a real business. And I just totally disagree with that. Look, if, if I have to pay taxes on it and I've got to claim the income on it, and it provides me the time and the money to do the things that I want to do with my life. It's a business. And in phase four, you have to decide what that business looks like for you. See, for me, I've already had employees. I've already worked 70 hours a week. I've already delegated all the stuff I ever want to delegate in my whole life. I've hired and I've fired and I've, I've, I've been very successful at it. And I've had moments of terrible failure at it. But overall, I was successful at it, but I don't want that now. I'm not at that phase in my life where I want a ton of other people financially dependent on me keeping my business running for them. It needs to support Melody and I. It needs to provide us with the things that we need and we want. So at phase four, we're looking at where are we going to take this business? Because we talked about it. Should we hire somebody to list, make drafts, maybe photograph? And ultimately we decided we don't want that. But in phase four, you're going to need to decide that for you because you may be at that point where you, you, maybe your end goal is to have 10 different people working on this and you're just guiding them. Phase four is important because ultimately you want to build a business that supports the life that you want to live. In phase five, we go back and we evaluate how far along we've come towards accomplishing our goals. In phase five, I'm going back and I'm looking at the goals that I set. Did I, did I get there? Did I go there? At the end of our first year of doing this as a business, Melody and I were able to go back and look and think, well, we had the income and we had most of the time that we wanted. But we also realized that it was during that phase that we had bought a bunch of stuff that it's just not us. It's not what we want to do. In phase five, we're evaluating how close to our goals did we get. Maybe the most important component of phase five is setting new goals. I'm going to go back to phase one at the end of phase five. And I'm going to start over because for us, our goals changed. Originally, we thought $100 a day would do everything that we want to do. Well, as anybody watching this knows, uh, inflation kind of took care of that for us. All of a sudden, what we thought was a, a an optimistic goal wasn't even enough. But it also 
it really sold us short. We were capable of far more than the $100 a day. Because we became more efficient as we went, we could actually make more than that with less investment in time than what we originally had slated at the beginning. So in phase five, when you get to this part of the business, you're going to go back and set new goals. And here's, here's the secret to this. You're never going to stop that. When you set goals and you get to the end of that line and you get to the end of the roadmap that you created, you're going to evaluate whether or not you accomplished what you want to do. And then you're going to set new goals and start over. My hope for a course like this, for creating all these videos is that somebody out there watches this and they find the hope and help and encouragement they need to take control of their own future to where it isn't dependent on anybody other than them, that I give them what they need to put themselves in control. I appreciate you guys helping me accomplish the goals that Melody and I have. So thank you guys very much. I'm going to see you real soon on the next one. Bye.